Kenneth Tynan was a British theater critic in the 1960s and 70s. He was also the critic at the New Yorker for a short time. He said that if theater wasn't always changing, then it was dead. Mr. Tynan gave up theater criticism because he said the majority of theater was mediocre at best. And he said it no longer warranted his time. In an analysis of, of community by Scott Peck, Scott Peck defined community in four stages. He said that when everyone is nice and there's no conflict, then you're probably not getting anywhere. But when you enter chaos or even give up, then it could be seen as a good sign. In today's troubled world, we haven't lost our way. We're on our way. And this is the best stage to be in. Welcome. Welcome to Illinois Bridging Awareness. I'm Stanley Smith. At Illinois Bridging Awareness, we've been on a, a journey together. Last week, Jim Downs shared the concept of mirror neurons. When we hold up positive neurons, we get people responding with their positive neurons back. And we create new pathways for positive energy in our system. Agar Casey said, don't make the spiritual your intention, but instead, let it be your way. In a further explanation of Scott Peck's stages of community, he explains that the first stage is called pseudo-community. In this phase, everyone is on their best behavior and well-behaved. Most often, uh, these groups form in reaction to a natural disaster or discernible need. The next stage is chaos, when natural disagreements and fissures come to the surface. In this phase, there's a lot of name calling and clobbering people over the head. After this, we have the emptiness phase, when people become resigned to this is as good as it gets and that things will never change. But if you press on to the last stage, you can enter into true community when you realize that your personal experience might not be the same for everyone else. The example that uh, Mr. Peck gave in the uh, analysis was the topic of divorce. It could have been the worst experience for you, but for someone else, it could be life-changing and very positive. We're all trying to find our way in this lifetime. Yes, we live in troubled times. We're polarized and everyone is at each other's throats, but that's not how we experience our lives. Mr. Peck said, most of us go through our lives mistaking pseudo community, pseudo community for the real thing. But if we press on, we can cross over. Healing is seeing things in a different way and seeing the chaos in today's world as a form of healing is one of the better ways of seeing things differently. If you would like to join us at Illinois Bridging Awareness, the Saturday call is every Saturday at 9 a.m. Central Time on Zoom. I will include my email in the description of this video. I'll be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.